Okay guys, in this video we're going to take a look at this new F3 based uh, flight controller for brushed motors. And it's uh, similar to the Saiski in that uh, it has all the same components except this has an F3 processor and it does not um, have a built in DSM2 receiver. This is capable of uh, supporting up to 2S batteries, where the Saiski is not, and has a a uh, better layout um, than the Saiski, whereas the, uh, the power connectors here on one side and the USB connector is off to the other side, so you don't have them conflicting with each other and for space. You cut your four motor leads here, and you have your three UARTs, and this is the uh, MPU 6500 gyro there. Over here are your three connectors for the, if you want to connect up a uh, Spectrum satellite, and you have a, a two connector here for the buzzer and a couple of LEDs. So here's the new F3 board next to the uh, size keyboard and you can see they're about the same size, about the same length, but the F3 board's a little bit wider. And if I compare the weights of these two, this new board weighs three grams and size keyboard weighs about two, maybe a little over two. So the size keyboard is still a just a touch lighter. Okay, got my board here connected to my computer, and I'm going to take a look at it in clean flight and see what kind of defaults are uh, flashed to the board. And it looks like uh, we're running clean flight version 1.13. And uh, the board is in SP Racing Evo. You can confirm that by going into the command line interface. And we can see here that it's uh, SP Racing F3 Evo 1.13. Let's take a look at our uh, ports here. We got a USB VCP, so it's using virtual COM port for the USB port. And we have three independent UARTs is nice. The config uh, default to PPM. Got a bunch of features enabled like telemetry, black box, and transponder. Don't know why, uh, but there's no data chip flash on here. So they must have just flashed uh, the standard. Um, default uh, config from CleanFlight for the SP Racing Evo. It doesn't look like there's any um, special tuning or anything with this board, so yeah, it looks like it's all default here. Yeah, it's definitely default. All blank. Okay. So it's good to know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and wipe this and um, install uh, Betaflight 2.9. I disconnect, we'll close clean flight and I will launch beta flight. And we'll go into the firmware flasher, select our board, so our target's going to be SP Racing Evo, F3 Evo. And I'm going to go with, looks like uh, 291 is out already. That's interesting. Well, so I'll go ahead and, and flash 2.91 latest build and we'll go ahead and load the firmware and then we'll go ahead and hit flash and it's saying no response from bootloader let's try it one more time okay so apparently I need to use these uh, bootloader pins here and uh, I'm going to have to jump that to uh, flash a new firmware to this board. Okay guys, so this board was giving me a little bit of a headache. Uh, apparently, because it was using a uh, USB virtual COM port, I needed to replace the uh, driver uh, in Windows. And there's a whole... Uh, tutorial on Betaflight flashing. I'll link 
in the description. Uh, I had to do it all off, off camera because there was a lot of rebooting and uh, a lot of computer stuff that was kind of boring and not really interesting pertaining to flashing this. But I got the driver installed and I was able to uh, then short the two bootloader pins that are right there. Let's see if I can bring it into focus. So I shorted the two bootloader pins that are right there and uh, plugged in my USB port to give it power and it booted up in DFU mode and with the driver uh, Betaflight configurator was able to uh, recognize it and I was able to flash it. So now I have uh, Betaflight 291 installed. I'm going to connect and uh, it can confirm yes uh, I am on Betaflight 2.9.1 and uh, it looks like it's all working. So I'm going to configure this uh, in the same way that I, I typically configure all my quads. Um, I'm going to uh, use the Serial RX. I'm going to connect up the uh, 11 RX for uh, DSMX uh, uh, radio protocol. And uh, I'm going to set up uh, air mode and also um, uh, probably uh, 2 kilohertz gyro sync. Okay, so since we have burst motors, I'm going to be setting up uh, PWM for the motors, uh, RX serial for my receiver, Spectrum 1024, and I'm going to turn off telemetry and transponder. Uh, I'm going to permanently enable air mode. I'm going to disable the magnetometer and barometer. Um, I also usually disable the accelerometer, so I'm going to see how high uh, I can go with the uh, gyro update. Um, I'm not sure if it's if 8 kilohertz, 4 kilohertz will work. I'll take a look. And we have a uh, cycle time of 500 and a CPU load of 37%, so that's pretty high. So I'm going to go ahead and um, reduce that. Let's try 4 kilohertz. Uh, let's, try, let's try 8 kilohertz, 2 kilohertz with no accelerometer. Reconnect. And we have a cycle time of, uh, let's jump in around here, uh, 100 to 500 and a CP load of 15%, so that looks reasonable. Going to change the fail safe settings to drop. I will usually arm on my switch with, on aux one. Save that. Check the version here, a beta flight 291, looks all good, and status is 11% uh, CPU, let's see, features, we got a uh, VBAT, RX serial, fail safe, current meter, and RSSI ADC, so I have I think I can disable current meter and RSSI ADC. Let's see where that is in the, uh, if it's in the GUI.
Okay, we'll turn that off and we'll turn that off. Those are just eating up extra CPU cycles. going to set my motor PWM rate. Let's see what it is right now. Get motor PWM. And it's currently set to 400, so we're going to set uh, motor PWM rate to 26,200 for 8.5 millimeter motors. Okay, and save. Okay, so everything looks pretty good so far. And since we have an F3 CPU, um, it defaults to float, which is fine, which is what I want. We have uh, super extra rates enabled. I don't have uh, VBAT PID compensation enabled, although I may enable that later. And I already know that my PIDs are going to have to go up because this is a pretty small quad. So uh, I think I'll go ahead and change those now. I think 50. 65 and 90 are good starts for the P and an I, I think it was like uh, 45, 55 and 60 and the D we can probably go at least 30 on all three. And I like a lot of rate, and I turn the expo off totally off. Turn that completely off, and uh, usually on these guys I'll go about uh, 85 on the rates. Just start. So we'll see how that goes.